We recently showed you how to install the Android 11 developer preview, but what if you want to go back to a stable Android 10 build? Well, in this Android Basics video, we're going to show you how. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. We're going to need to do a few things before we can get started. Firstly, make sure you've backed up any sensitive data and information before proceeding. Now, you want to install the latest Android SDK platform tools. There is a download link in the description. Our advice is to download to somewhere easy like your desktop for instance. You'll also want to unzip these files so you can access them. You will also want to download the right factory image for your device. Again, there are links in the description. Now on your Pixel, you'll need to make sure OEM unlocking and USB debugging are enabled. You can enable these in settings quite easily. If you haven't already done so, plug your Pixel into your PC and ensure to enable connections from your computer to your device when the pop-up appears on your Pixel display. Now we can open a command prompt window within the platform tools folder by typing CMD into the address bar. This opens right up where we need to be. Firstly, we're going to need to unlock the bootloader so that we can flash the Android 10 OTA file. Within your command prompt window, enter ADB reboot bootloader to get into fastboot. Now enter fastboot flashing unlock. You will now get a potentially scary message on your pixel, but just using the volume keys, select the unload bootloader and press the power button to accept. This will wipe your device, so when it has restarted, you'll need to skip through the initial device setup process and re-enable USB debugging so that we can enter fastboot again. With this re-enabled and your device plugged in, enter command prompt again using the CMD command and then type ADB reboot bootloader to boot back into fastboot. It's at this point you need to ensure that the factory image OTA file is in the platform tools folder unzipped and not in a subfolder. Now in the command prompt window, enter flash dash all to start the process of flashing your Android 10 build. This entire process will take a couple of minutes. During this time, do not close the window or unplug your device. Leave it until you get a message confirming that the process has finished and that you can press any key to enter or exit. This will wipe your pixel again, so you'll need to re-skip through the setup process and re-enable USB debugging so that we can lock the bootloader so that you can get future OTA push updates. Follow that quick setup process again and reopen the command prompt window within platform tools. Now we can relock the bootloader by entering fastboot flashing lock. On your pixel, you will need to use the volume keys again to scroll to lock the bootloader and press the power button to accept. This will restore your device once again, but from here you can reboot and voila, your device will now be running a stable Android 10 build. It is worth noting that this process can be used to downgrade Android versions, for example from Android 10 to Android Pi, although we don't recommend doing this as it will introduce potential security risks and potentially more on top of that. Although with that said, hopefully this helped if you wanted to go back to stable Android 10 builds. If you have any questions, then do pop them down below and we'll do our best to answer those. Again, thanks for watching this Android Basics video, here to help you get the most from your Android device.